So I got this awesome comment on one of my videos the other day. It was actually, from the time this video goes up, it would, it would probably have been about two, three days, something like that. And I do realize that this this comment is a, is a troll comment. Like, don't get me wrong on that. I totally know that this is a troll comment. Or I'm assuming it's a troll comment, because if you read it for yourself, it looks really stupid and it has grammatical errors and all that other stuff you know just just to incite some some rage into whoever also the fact that a lot of this well i'll explain it anyway but from the great emmett collins rivera who very well that could not be that could be like a false alias or something i don't know it doesn't even have a doesn't even have a picture to go with it but and I haven't checked this guy's comments either, so I, I, I don't really know if he does this to everyone or he just randomly found my channel and decided to do, like, my stuff, because this was kind of a random video that this was on. But anyway, Emmett Collins Rivera, comment reads as follows. As much as I don't want to only see a dislike on this, I really think you shouldn't have talked about E3. If somebody wanted to know about it, they would have gone thar, thar, thar themself that's cool so let's break this down first of all there is no capitalization in the as for starting a sentence the i isn't capitalized at all they did get the the uh the apostrophe is that is that what i'm thinking of the apostrophe i don't know i probably got that wrong but they got the mark for don't they got the mark wrong or right not wrong but they got the mark right for don't so Basically, if I read this like it's supposed to be read, because I, I read it with how I thought it was supposed to be read, it's, as much as I don't want to only see a dislike on this, I really think you shouldn't have talked about E3. If somebody wanted to know about it, they would have gone thar themselves. Long run-on sentence, clearly done on purpose. Uh, didn't capitalize any of the I's when they're by themselves. Shouldn't, shouldn't of, should not of. Talked about E3, there should be at a, a comma there. If somebody wanted to know about it, they would have gone thar, spelling there wrong, themselves. Forgot the period. So, if we break that down, basically what this comment is going on about is that in my Mario video that this is talking about, which if I'm if I'm going to mouse over this real quick, you're not going to see it, but... If I mouse over this real quick, this video went up on June 11th of last year. So this is more than like a year and three months and some days old. This is a very long time ago. Not really sure what the point is of referencing this now. But basically this comment is talking about how I really shouldn't have talked about E3 because by talking about E3, just nonchalantly, I guess, just adding my opinion to the opinion pool that is the vast array of, of gamers and, and gaming personalities and gaming news media and stuff, is that I shouldn't have talked about E3 because somehow that spoiled the experience for someone that wasn't able to go there themselves, thus ruining it for that person. Now, I'm not really sure, like, the, the, the problem with that is that E3, while being a big event, is very limited to the amount of people that are allowed to even go there. So the chances that everyone in the gaming community, which grows by the day, by the hour even, maybe, the chances that everyone in the gaming community ever will ever be able to go to an E3 event is very unlikely. Like, the only reason a lot of gaming personalities, you know, like, normal people... And by normal, I mean people that aren't in, like, gaming journalism or anything like that. The only reason they get to go to a lot of these events is that they're attached to, you know, someone in media or they have a relation to, like, the video game industry. Like, for YouTube, for, for instance, you know, with YouTube, it's like if you're a pretty prominent voice in um, certain... What am I, what am I trying to think of here? certain networks that you're partnered with, like Machinima or Polaris or stuff like that. So this was a really interesting comment. I thought it was really fun. I do get some of these every once in a while, and I've never really decided to do anything with it up until now. But 
This is pretty great. Thank you, Emmett Collins Rivera, for the the very entertaining comment that you left me. I'm not sure if this is going to encourage more people to leave trolly comments or whatnot. I would hope not, and at the same time, part of me hopes that it does, so this series can continue to flourish and grow, as it were. It's not really annoying as much as it is kind of ridiculous, because when I saw this thing, I was on my lunch break, and I had gotten an email about it, and I was like, what the fuck is this, you know? So I popped open my phone, went to my email, and I saw this thing, and all I could do was just laugh to myself, because this is clearly ridiculous, and it's great. So thank you, Emmett Collins Rivera. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys enjoyed the background. Yeah, the background. The background is fucking stupid. I mean, it's there. It's just there to draw attention to whatever. But thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.